name is Nelo and you're welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I cut and sew a little boy's sweater up and down. Okay, the material I'll be using today is called, it has different names. I know it at least, I know it with three names. Um, Atiku, Cheddar, Brocade, depending on what you know it with. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you step by step how I make my okay from the cutting to the sewing, all right. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please click on that red button below and subscribe to my channel, and also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time I upload new video. By the grace of God, I'll be uploading videos twice a week, okay, twice or once, depending on my time, okay. All right, and please give this video a thumbs up, okay and share with your family and friends your swimming as well all right without further ado let's get to the main video okay see you on my next video <laughs> bye okay this is the front part of the top um, i will start by taking the shoulder measurement which is eight inches eight divided by two is four plus half inch for sewing allowance okay and then i'll also put the neck width which is two inches and then the neck depth of 2.5 for the front part okay so for the armhole how we dividing is armhole by two the armhole I'm making use of is 11 inches divided by 2, which is 5.5. But I added half an inch for joining allowance, making it 6 inches. So I'm going to stick on 6. Alright. I'm going to be joining, curving the neckline, okay? And I'll also draw a straight line from the shoulder down to the armhole. So to cover your armhole, you come up by one inches and then you go in, you get the midpoint of that straight line you drew from the shoulder to the armhole, divide it by two, then the midpoint, you go in by half an inch. But I'm just drawing it this way because I'm doing a freehand turn thing today and because it's for a little boy, so I'm just using a freehand method no ruler no french curve no pattern master all right so now i'm putting the chest measurement the chest measurement and the waist measurement are the same in fact his waist is bigger than the chest so i'm using his waist measurement for both the chest too the length i'm working with is 16 inches plus 2 inch for folding which is 18 inches and i'm going to slant the shoulder by half an inch as well so I'll just draw a straight line there and cut, okay? All right, so let's cut the back part. I'm going to Okay, I'm going to, I'm showing you guys how it looks after cutting. Can you see that? It's coming out already. So, we are going to draft the back panel. Okay, I have placed the front on the back panel. And I'm going to go up by 2 inches for a kid. For adults, you go up by three inches, okay? Well, because it's a child, I'm going up by two inches. You can go up by two or two and a half, but I'm using two inches for him. <coughs> and the neck depth I'll be working with for the back is going to be one inches, okay? Now, 
like depth of one inch and then I'm going to take the front part upward and curve the neck to the front panel just like so okay and I'll be cutting it out so having done that I'm going to fold the shoulder of the back panel I'll, I'll be joining the shoulder together like so and then I will use some um, needle to secure it pin sorry no needle <laughs> I'm using paint to secure it so it will not shift when I'm cutting okay so right now I'm measuring the neck to know if it's ran with the boy's neck measurement the neck measurement is 12 divided by 2 as you can see 6 so it's right and I'll be cutting it right now okay you cut on fold. Make sure you fold it before you start cutting. Okay. You can just use your tailor chalk and trace it and then cut. So I'm going to do that because it's really giving me a hard time to cut because it's shifting even even though I use pin to secure it. So I'm just going to trace it with my chalk and then I'll remove the front part and cut. So that is all for the top, the back and the front. Right now I'm going to be cutting the facing okay all right let's work on the sleeve first before the facing okay so I'm supposed to refer you guys to my sleeve pattern tutorial but because this is for a kid I um, modify some one or two things, no, just one thing, which is the the sleeve cap. Sleeve cap I use for adult is five inches, but this I'm going to use three inches. Okay. Sleeve the sleeve length is six inches plus two inch for folding, and the sleeve All right round sleeve is twelve divided by two, which is six plus one inch sewing allowance. Five for, and then one inch for folding sewing allowance sorry so i'm going to come down by 2.5 or 40 inches i'm using 2.5 okay remember the fabric is on fold so i'm going to draw a straight line from the tip of the sleeve down to where i draw that line okay oh guys today eh? This one is just shaking anyhow. The drawing is not straight at all because of the free hand. Anyway, but well, we're gonna do it so to cut the sleeve, you get the midpoint of the sleeve cap, which is 3.5. The sleeve cap length is seven, then the midpoint is 3.5. Then you draw a flat C up and flat C down. This chalk is really messy, eh? My tailor chalk is the same color as the fabric. That's why I'm using this board chalk so that you guys will see what I'm doing. So sorry about this drawing. If you want to see how I make my sleeve, please go check the sleeve tutorial, okay? I'll leave the link on the description box. So I'm going to be cutting. I'm trying to clean the mess okay so I'm going to cut that way down all right so mm -hmm. 
Okay, this is what we have after cutting it. Okay, so now we're going to work on the freezing. So I have pinned down, I cut out a little fabric and then I pin it down on my um, back um, panel and then I'm going to trace the neck and also cut that armhole side, okay? To get a perfect length for your facing, the back facing, you measure the midpoint, you get the midpoint of your armhole, okay? That is where the length of your facing is going to stop. All right. <coughs> All right. After cutting it, I'm going to open it for you to see. So that is it. It's actually longer than the midpoint of the armhole. So I'm going to be covering it. I'm going to be cutting it to the exact length. You can make your own stretch or cover like my. I want my cover, so I cut. I want to give the boy a little swag, you know. <laughs> That's why I'm cutting it cover. But you can cut your straight. Okay, it all depends on choice. Okay, so. That is how it's going to look after sewing. All right, we're going to work on the front panel now. Okay, so this is the front panel. I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did to the front, the back panel, okay? Just watch. Okay, the front panel is um, longer than the armhole. This is because it's going to be inside. And even though it's going to be outside, I make it long because I want to use it to turn. The front is going, the center front is going to have a slit, like five inches length, okay? Yeah, just like the one measuring it, five inches length. I'm going to tear it down there. And then I will use that part, I mean, um, the facing to turn it okay it's going to be inside <coughs> sorry guys my voice is breaking it's going to be inside so I'm going to use it to turn the cutting I'll be doing there so right now I'm going to notch the center front so as to know where I'll be tearing or cutting or slitting whatever you call it <laughs> from okay so now we we'll move to the for to the trouser cutting okay all right so this is the trouser i fold it into two for the front and then i'll be taking the crush length which is six inches to get your crush length which is cross depth you cut um uh, you did not cut sorry <laughs> you divide your hip by four so if that is going to be your crush length or you sit on a hard stone to measure so it's a little bit I can ask him to sit actually so I'll just divide his hip by four and that is the length of the clothes which is 16 and then there where I'm taking now is the new point okay I have a detailed tutorial on trouser making. You can go check it out. I'll leave the link on the description box. The hip and the waist are divided by four, while the ankle and the tie and the um, knee are divided by two. Okay, his hip is 21. I added three inches for his because he's a growing child. I'll be putting the hip measurement on the crotch line. Okay, I also do the same measurement on the waistline. I will not be covering the waist because it's going to have elastic at the back okay the length i'm working with is 16 plus 2 inches for folding okay the line i just draw now is 
my starting line so now I'm putting the hip measurement divide by 4 which is 6 all right so I'll draw it straight so I'm going to draw it straight up to the waist line okay and then I'll be using 1.5 for the crush length so how I got that is you divide the quarter of your hip measurement okay the hip measurement quarter is and six divided by four which is 1.5 okay so right now I'm going to take the ankle measurement the ankle measurement I'm working with is nine divided by two which is 4.5 so after which I will connect and then I'll cut okay I'm going to connect the inseam with a curve then I'll cut all right I finished covering it so I'm going to cut the front part now okay I'm slanting my shoulder by not shoulder the waist of the trouser by half an inch okay so I will cut now all right so right now i'm going to show you how to cut the down part to cut the ankle side you fold in you fold your hemming allowance so as not to run short of fabric okay so i'll do the same on the other side too so right now i've placed the front panel to the back the back is also folded into two i'm going to go up by three inches okay this is because the trouser is going to have the back part is going to have elastic okay i'll be using elastic on the back part that is why i make it three inches long okay if you notice i did not put the um, waist measurement on the waist line that is because it's going to have elastic so no need of putting the waist measurement even though the front is going to have a band and not elastic it's still the same okay so i'm using i'm adding one inch to the back crush and then i'm also adding one inch all around from the waist down to ankle this is because back panel is usually long or wider than the front panel okay So I have finished covering it. So right now I'm going to be cutting it out, okay? Hope you're getting the gist. <laughs> All right. Okay, that is all for the trouser. That's the back panel. And then the front. I'm ready. So I'm going to join it, be joining it that way. Anyway, don't worry. I'm going to show you all that when we'll be sewing it, okay? Alright, I'm just taking the measurement of the waist for the front. So I want to cut the band. The band is the waist length by 3 inches, okay? 3 inches because I'm going to be folding it. If you're sewing, you fold, okay? I will sew it on fold. So I cut 3 inches by 15. The waist is 7 inches. Because it's two panels there, that's 14. So I added 1 inch for sewing allowance. Okay? So I cut 15 instead of 14 by 3 inches. As you can see it's 15 even though it's a little bit longer than 15 anyway so now we're going to work on the front pocket okay so the, 
pocket width is going to be 2 inches okay for adults you use 2.5 but for a kid I use 2 inch and the length is going to be 5 inches okay for adults it's 7 inches it is standard 7 inches so I'm going to draw a curve there and then I'll just notch the waist side and also that down part okay this is different from the pocket on my um, trouser pattern okay if you've not watched that video please try and check it out okay so this pocket is going to be a different kind of pocket it is not the, the type I showed you on them the trouser pattern making okay this one is different I'm not going to be cutting it out I'm going to sew it like that all right this is what I'll be using for the pocket okay don't worry when we'll be sewing you're going to see how I'm going to do that okay that is what I'll be using for the pocket all right thank you for watching please like share and subscribe See you on my next video. Bye.